WWE said they, they plan to hold a big international event come December. A lot of people think that this is going to be the return of WWE to Saudi Arabia. First time since the post-pandemic that that's going to happen. And the conversation starts again, man. WWE's relationship, this, 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 the deal with the devil that they've signed with Saudi Arabia. And uh, it seems like it's going to continue. You know, they love the money. WWE's getting paid millions, tens of millions of dollars a year to hold this, uh, this contract with Saudi Arabia, to hold these events there. And, you know, it's lucrative for them, but a lot of people have called it out given the actions of the Saudi government, given, you know, their human rights violations. We've seen wrestlers pull out of these events. Sami Zayn, most notably, has refused to go to these events in the past. Kevin Owens has sided with his friend Sami Zayn and refused to go to these events. Daniel Bryan pulled out of uh, these Saudi events as well. So not popular with some of the superstars that are there, but, you know, we know that WWE, the the, the Money is the bottom line there. So yeah. what do you think about, you know, WWE returning to Saudi Arabia? What do we think about them holding this event there, even though we know the backlash that they've gotten in the past few years? Uh, I mean, does WWE really listen to anything? <laughs> I mean, and I'm, and I'm not even trying to be funny about it, but I mean, do they really give a fuck as long as it comes down to the money? Because that's pretty much what it is. It's all about money at the end of the day. I mean, yeah, they have had a decent pop. And Saudi Arabia, uh, sorry Arabia, can't talk. Um, but um, and I mean, they also had the first woman's match there. So, like, they're doing. I mean, they're doing something right. But still, like, why would you go to a place where you get all this backlash? Half the superstars refuse to refuse to uh, to go and uh, refuse to perform. And honestly, like, I mean. If all of your performance, including the I'm talking about the women now, can't perform in this country, why would you even go when your women superstars are some of the best in the world and actually are some of your top superstars? Like, I don't, I don't think it fully allows your talent to shine. Honestly, I don't care how much money you pay. Yeah, I see, and the, I, I'm glad you mentioned that, right? So. There's this idea that, like, you know, you, you need to respect cultural norms in other countries, and that is true. Right. Um, and the fact that there was a women's match in Saudi Arabia, I'm not going to discount, like, you know, that that has some value as far as wrestling goes, but it's in the grand scheme of things, it's very small, if we're being honest. It's like, what has really changed? Like, like it's like, it's not going to change the fact that, you know, that women cannot go to, like, from outside, cannot go to Hajj, which is like a big pilgrimage for Muslims, uh, you know, without the consent of an, a male. Like, it's not going to change a lot of the consent laws with with males. I have to, have to, like, approve almost a lot of the legal stuff that women do in, in the country. So, like, it's not going to change a lot of the societal stuff. It's just going to be fodder. It's going to be propaganda. That's what right. this is, if we're being real. It's propaganda that WWE is just saying, like, oh, my God, look at this. And, like, remember the first event? They were just, like, the uh, the first Saudi event they did, it was just all, look at this, this is all part of the Saudi Vision 2030, right. which is, like, this big, like, propaganda game that Saudi Arabia has played, saying that, oh, look at, Saudi Arabia is changing, and look, there's good initiatives in there, but it's, but it's not, like, it's not the change that they're making it out to be, and that's what it is, but... WWE loves their money. That's why they took the deal with Peacock. That's why they're taking this deal with Saudi Arabia. And they're not going to go back on it. Like, even no matter... Like, we had a... They they murdered a journalist in cold blood. Chopped him up. And did all this stuff. Did Saudi Arabia. WWE didn't bat an eye. They nope. just went on and did their event. And apparently, apparently, there was still heat on some of the superstars who decided not to go. Yeah. So yeah, there's still heat on them, and we know what happened. Like there was a there was a big story that happened last time they were in Saudi Arabia that the plane that they were on was stopped by the Saudi government, and there were problems there. Like still mixed stories on what happened there. So like we like there's a lot of scummy stuff going on there, man. And look, this deal, look, it's good for their pocketbooks, but it's not good for the the impression of wrestling. I think worldwide it's, it's it gives it a bad I, look. It's I mean. Just like every everything WWE has done in the past like 10 to 12 years, it's just it's not it's it's not working. It's not it's not a good look. It makes it makes you as a company look bad. Um, because honestly, you look like you're just money hungry. 
which you are. But you know, it's just it looks bad. It does. How much money do you need? <laughs> like, like for being real. Apparently, right? all of it. <laughs> all of it. Uh, well, to, to quote Vince McMahon himself, "I have an insatiable appetite for life, and I want more, more, <laughs> more." Uh, hey, one thing I will say though, if we are gonna get a Saudi Arabia event, there is the prospect, the hope, the glimmer of hope that we might get. Saudi Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> I look, look. I I hate the deal that they have with Saudi Arabia. The actions of the of the kingdom are are deplorable in my eyes. A lot of them. This is money right here. <laughs> <This is money. laughs> Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.